Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Bros, and today we're going to be talking about Boys, written by Rick Moody. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So this work by Rick Moody is very interesting. Uh, it's called Boys, and we follow these two boys um, from right when they get out of the hospital and they come home with their parents and we just really follow them throughout their lives how they grow up at first they're just little baby boys um, relying on their parents and then we just get them we see them develop you know from from babies um, and they just start to grow up we see them start to get involved in sports we see them um, start to terrorize their little sister we see them breaking lamps and breaking tables and, and getting um, becoming mischievous and, and doing all types of things around their neighbor their neighborhood uh, we see them uh, start to uh, understand the world and with every step that they take and every time they enter the house they're doing something different um, they terrorize their sister um, they take her dolls and bury her dolls um, in the backyard uh, they they you know, break their, their parents, they, they break a lamp, uh, they break stuff around the house, they cook things in the kitchen, they just mix a bunch of things together and try to get the little sister to eat it. They really bully their sister, they try to mess up her face, um, and, you know, try to, to annoy her in all types of ways. There's some certain things that they do to her that's very cringeworthy, um, they're like, they're popping pimples in front of her and they're just making her scream at any chance that they can get. Uh, they do other things like, you know, um, go out chasing after girls, um, uh, try to bring the girls back home to their house and, and, um, and, you know, it doesn't work. Sometimes they think that they're failures. Sometimes they think that they're men. Um, and they have to deal with all these types of things. So the boys... We really get a picture like this, the way that this um, short story is written, how the boys are doing this, the boys are doing this, the boys are coming in the house and doing that. Um, and each time they're doing something different. And a lot of things are thrown at us uh, about how they're growing up, of what they're doing sometimes, um, you know, what they're experiencing and how they, you know, in every stage of life, every season of life, these boys are doing different things um, from from being little tiny kids, little tiny boys to adolescents, um, you know, to, you know, pre preteen years um, and how their bodies start to change and how they start to understand themselves, their bodies and the world around them and their attraction to women, to females. Um, and the story goes on into them being teenagers and getting involved into understanding how the world works. Um, there's a point in time where they're, you know, they're pretty much following their father and whatever their father is doing, they're following him around. Um, and they're kind of like worshiping their father because they, they think he's like the second coming of Christ. Um, <clears throat> and, 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 you know, every boy has that, that point in time in life where they think their father is, um, the end all and be all. Um, you know, there, there's... One thing that's really interesting in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here, is that each thing that we get about these boys is is very, it tells us a little bit about them and what they're going through. So we really get an amalgamation, a close mixture of everything it means to be a boy and what it means, and also what it means to be a man and how to develop from a boy to a man, because these boys... You know, we're getting a little bit about their emotions, their feelings, their their bodies, how they're growing, how they see their father, their mother, how they terrorize and annoy their sister, um, what they think about the outside world when they get involved with um, drugs and cigarettes and things like that. Um, so uh, all the things that teenagers get involved with and, and young boys get involved with, um, they, you know, you can really understand the growing up part of being a boy and then later becoming a man and ultimately they get involved in politics they get involved with with the the you know the realities of the world the tragedies of the world um and the sad parts of the world and and the, you know the nurse sister the story provides enough evidence to make us to you know, it doesn't quite say outright or like the sister's dead. There's no sentence that says that their little sister dies, but she does get a diagnosis and it's not good. And then later, 
um, the little sister just pretty much disappears from the short story. Um, and, and there's enough evidence to kind of say that, you know, she pretty much dies. Um, I, it doesn't outright say it's cancer, but I think it might be cancer the way that the story writes about the little sister and how she gets sick and how they stop talking about her. And then there's a, uh, one of the boys, they, they he doesn't want to talk about people they've lost or people in the past or people in that time so there's some evidence to and like the, the mentioning of, the mentioning of funerals around around when the, this little sister is sick kind of you know makes you believe or, or has enough evidence there to say that the little sister dies so we kind of see their emotions and how they both deal with the passing the the passing of their little sister um how the mother deals with it um and how you know these boys at first they thought the world was this free place and you're you're growing up you can do whatever you want and have some fun and then you know people start to die bad things start to happen and the older you get the more you have to deal with and and you start to see uh what's in the world so the story goes on um you know they start to to get into their early adult years and they start dating one has a girlfriend or one's getting married and one's not um, they're changing careers. They're uh, so. I mean, one thing that to keep important with this the short story is that it, it's throwing a bunch of things at, at you, things that are happening in these boys' lives and how they're going into the front door and coming out and going in and coming out. Just like how we all, you know, every day we we leave our house from you know we go out by the front door most of the time and and well for most people you know you go out. Uh, by the front door and you come in by the front door um, and you know years go by you know months days go by weeks go by months go by years go by and you're changing every day every single day you're changing you're evolving you know and these boys you know every time they go through the front door every time they're, they're just they're just going by things are changing their minds are changing their bodies are changing the way that they look at the world is changing so it's very fascinating and how these boys become, you know, at the beginning of the short story, they're just little toddlers, little baby boys, you know, little kids. And then by the end, they're grown men and their father dies uh, and they have to deal with the death of their father. Um, and yeah, you know, from being little boys to being grown men and their father um, has to be taken out. And I think the death of their father pretty much marks the end of them being boys and now they're just grown men uh, because now they're fully responsible for themselves, their lives, how they eat, where they live, how they sleep, um, and potentially their own families and their own kids and maybe they'll they'll have their own boys. Uh, so you do see this um, um, growing of age story with these two boys and how they grow up how they experience life and how they over time they change from being unruly and being uh, mischievous and little you know um, horrible people at times to them conforming to the rules of society and later becoming men and, and uh, functioning adults in their own ways. Um, so this short story is packed with information. Every line has a different um, type of information about growing up, about boys and how boys are on how they cope with things and how they deal with things and and i mean it's really it would be really hard for any man or any boy to pick up this thing and not find something that kind of reflects adolescence or you know when you're a tiny kid and, and you're a boy and you're trying to figure out the world around you um so it's it's very interesting uh, the, the the analysis here the deeper meaning here is what it says about growing up what it says about the reality uh, of, 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 you know, of boys, um, and how it affects the people around them and how they perceive the world and ultimately how they, well, hopefully they exit as boys and go out into the world as men. Cause the way that the boys exit this short story, their father dies, you know, they come and take the father out and the boys exit and, I like the last sentence of the short story because it says that they exit, and I think they exit out into the world, not as boys, but as men, because their father is gone. Uh, there's no more dad. They're responsible for themselves. Um, and that's the end of the short story. So very fascinating. That's just my summary analysis of it, um, my opinion about the short story and what it has to say. Um, yeah. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.